What's going on, everybody? Geek back here with a quick troubleshooting and audio mic setup video. Uh, last night, if you caught my stream, you'll notice that I had a little bit of a snafu after I believe it was the Windows update that caused it. But my Blue Yeti microphone, which you see here on the screen by my mouse, whenever I talk, lights up. It was showing here. However, it wasn't working. Mic was good. Unplugged it, plugged it back in. Was working in Discord just fine. Just was not working in OBS. So I was like, all right, what's going on? So uh, I've been meaning to do a video on how to set the mic up anyways. I went into file and to settings and I went to audio. Well, one of the things that happened apparently during the update, now I, I'm not 100% sure why I need to go back and read the forums on it. Uh, there's been a lot of people making comments about it, but right here under mic auxiliary audio, instead of it showing my blue Yeti, it showed disabled. And my Yeti was still showing up down here, but it wasn't showing up as an auxiliary audio device. So first off, if it doesn't show up here, it, it, if it shows up here, it should be, and me pointing at my screen doesn't do you guys any good. But if you see the blue Yeti here, it should be still inside as set. Because if you take it away, and I can't do that because then you won't see it, uh, and you won't be able to hear me, um, it's not working. So all I had to do is I opened up the settings, and I came in, and I just selected the blue Yeti, and all of a sudden, my sound came back. Why it went away, either the Windows 10 creator did it, but I don't think it was the update, because I don't think there's been a recent update to OBS this week, or since my last stream, that would have caused it. But for those that are also looking to set up their microphone, there's a couple things people do. They either, it depending on where they want to control their audio, if you want a microphone, so like if I get up, and I want to use the microphone on this headset, instead of adding it here, which I could as an Astro A50 game, Oh, excuse me, voice, the headset. The voice, as soon, instead of adding that as a secondary device right here and applying that, um, and I'm like, okay, let me make this big right here. You're going to see I, I now have a second one down here. I don't need that, and I don't want that there because most of the time I'm just using my Blue Yeti. However, if I want to transition to a new scene, instead of adding that here, so I'm going to go remove that. I'm going to go back to audio. I'm going to go back here, disable. Apply, okay, now you can see it's gone. So instead of adding it there, I'm gonna go, I can go to a different scene, let me see. Is this, transition screen, sorry. Um, here, if I wanna add another audio source, instead of just a Blue Yeti, I can come add it here. Uh, audio input, I can call it Astro A50, A50 voice, okay. And say okay. And then I'm going to come in here and I can choose it right there and okay. All of a sudden you see that it's here and I can configure it. I don't have it on because the microphone's up. If I put, drop it down, all of a sudden you've got double mics and that's going to probably sound really weird in this video. Put it up and it's gone. What that lets me do is if I want to get up and I, I don't want to be tethered to my desk and I need to be able to get up and go to there or go over to a gaming computer, like if I'm playing on my Xbox or my PS4. So I'm, this is the screen I'm going to actually get set up for capturing gameplay from my Xbox or from my PS4, soon to be Series X or PS5. Then I can transition to this screen and be able to use my headset and mic from there instead of here if I want to do so. Or if I need to go to the kitchen and do be right back or whatever, I can transition so I'm full wireless with a headset and a mic and I don't have to be on there. But uh, <laughs> we'll stay right here. I don't want to have to do the transition screen again. And if I don't want it, all I have to do is come in and I can remove it and I can say yes. So I'm still playing with those kind of things. These are all when the sources and scenes. So that's sources versus audio settings. But for most people that are coming in and going to set up audio on their own, you, uh, um, OBS, just go to settings, go to audio, from the mic auxiliary, drop down, find the microphone you want to use, Blue Yeti, uh, Blue Snowball, Roadcaster, whatever it might be. Choose it, your headphones, if you're using a microphone from your headphones, choose that, call it good. I do make a few changes to my, where is it at, uh, audio quality here. And I change it, you can't change it now, but I change mine and my bit rate to 192. Just gives me a little bit better clarity, a little bit overall quality control. 
in those aspects. The other thing you can want to do, which I'll do a separate video on because it takes a little bit. I have a previous one that's a little longer, which will be linked at the end of this video. And I'll put links to where you can get the Reaper files from. You can come into your microphone and you can go to filters. And you can see that I've set up three. I've set up Reaper, Noise Gate, Compressor, and Equalizer. Now, when I first set these up, I didn't care what order. After talking to a couple of guys that are a little bit smarter than me that have done this for a lot longer, uh, that does matter the order of which you put them in because it's order of operations, um, just like with programming or coding. Noise gate first reduces things from like stereo sounds and all that stuff, compressor to make sure that I'm not blowing myself out with getting really loud if I shout, and the equalizer to give more levelness, tones, and uh, whatever I want to my voice. So those are those in a nutshell. Um, I'll, have, I'll, I'll link again to the video that I did on setting those up, and I'll make a shorter one, maybe five to ten minutes um, in length. I'm getting better at shorter videos, I promise. But those are what you're going to want to do. And what that does is you'll notice if I push my microphone away, I get quieter. And if I bring it back, you guys can hear me again. So it, it just really depends what you're trying to do. I have a five-year-old and a seven-year-old, which I'm never going to ask to leave my office unless I get really, really deep into like day one rating or something. I don't need that distraction. Um, and I'm trying to hear the guys. But most of the time they're in here. But I want them to be able to be talking without you guys getting blown out by loud sounds or if my wife decides to vacuum or something you know that's what we're going to do anyways so that's why there's there what i am looking forward to is in um when elgato brings out their sound i do have another setting in here another scene where i use nothing but this because i can use the wavelength to identify and parse out everything and this is really great if you have um, a console, because then you can have uh, your console come in over your capture card, your HDMI and all that and audio, and then you can break the game out and the audio out. Uh, I'm still getting it all figured out, but that's why I got the I've got an Elgato eight four K sixty in my box, and I've been playing with that one. I haven't done a whole lot with it because I prefer to game and stream on this. However, as I'm doing more help on PC or Xbox and PS four, and with the new consoles coming out, I don't know where that's going to lie. So I'm still going to get it. I have it. Might as well figure it out, especially since people ask questions. Again, if you have questions, please leave them in the comments below. Hit me up on our Discord. Link's down below for that. Or I stream on Monday, Wednesdays, and Thursdays uh, in the evening. And you can find me there and you can ask those questions. I'll be more than happy to stop the game and show you what I'm doing with the settings are and can troubleshoot live or whatever you might want to be. Done it a few times. Don't mind doing it. Love helping you guys out. Um, trying to help as many people as I possibly can. Learn, and if I don't know, I'm not going to try and sugarcoat it. I'll just tell you I don't know, but I'll go figure it out. And if I can't figure it out, I'll find somebody that does. Um, but yeah, so those, that's the basic troubleshooting from issue from last night where I lost my Blue Yeti. Um, you know, I unplugged the microphone here. The USB port didn't work. It was working in my Discord. All that other stuff had to come in. I was like, wait, it's here. It's here. It's here. Why it's not here? And I went to file, settings, audio, and it wasn't there, even though... It showed that it was there. It wasn't there. I just reconfigured it. Said, here's my Yeti. Pick that up. Uh, and I need to add this one back after I get my testing. I had the Wave 3 all set up and ready to go. Uh, however, it lost it. And uh, pretty sure it was the Windows Creator update. So I'm waiting on Elgato to send out another update. They had one last week. Should be one this week. Anyways, if you got questions, again, hit me up below. Um, and if you haven't, you know, and you want to know more about videos and stuff like this that are coming out, hit the sub button, hit the bell. Helps me out, and I can hopefully help you guys out um, in the long run. Anyways, until next time, you guys stay safe with everything going on out there. Catch me in game, catch me in stream, wherever you need. Hit me up on Twitter. Be happy to help if I can. You guys take care, and I'll talk to you next time.